Okay, what we put together here is I'm using my benchtop power supply, which is capable of putting out a max of around 32 volts. There's the electrometer that I overhauled and got working again, and it's currently all warmed up and <coughs> centered on zero right now with a resolution of one volt. And this we put together out of spare parts. It's nothing more than a piece of aluminum wire. Uh, part of a ballpoint pin cap used as an insulator. The aluminum wire protrudes through, centered roughly in the middle of it. We used a solvent and a little bit of sandpaper to ensure that there is a good place to make contact with on this electrically. We've got the ground wire from the power supply going to the ground with an electrometer. Positive 32 volts is going to go going to go to the outer hull of the can so the outside is going to get charged with 32 volts of DC to current. Just like so. And I'm still using a probe for a uh, oscilloscope on the electrometer for an adapter right now. This will have to do for now. So it's all connected up. This is a basic ion chamber. We're going to go ahead and take this off center lock. As you can see, we've got a positive charge building up, it's leveling out around a resolution of around one volt right now. It's detected out of the 32 volts being pumped through the outside. Of course, right here we have a good old fashioned thorium mantle. I'll watch the screen and place this directly in front. And we're getting a fluctuation as some of the radiation from the thorium is affecting the flow of ions between the hull. What's more effective though, some americium from a smoke detector. I'll place the tube up here. It's a very weak gamma emitter, americium. This chamber is actually not all that gamma sensitive the way I have it right now. I need to modify it. So you're getting some fluctuation. More effective is we're going to take a button that actually has americium in it and hold it directly in front of the chamber since it's an alpha stream emitter. Okay, we got the button loaded into these little crimpers. We're going to have the raw material aim directly at the ion chamber. We're about to see what happens when we do that. And there it goes. The stream of alpha particles emitting off that is hitting her and helping complete the circuit by ionizing the air inside there. This would work better if I was pumping anywhere from 50 to 100 volts to the chamber instead of 30. Make it a lot more sensitive. Uh, another idea is to actually build the chamber out of some thin down copper pipe and pressurize it with some Freon, which has a high level of fluorine gas in there, which is a halogen. Kind of create a cross between a Geiger, t Geiger Mueller tube and an ion chamber. That's something I'm going to work on in the future.